beaming queen leads the royals on their second day at Ascot. But Lady Luck fails to smile on Sophie Wessex as three losing horses scupper her chances on two pounds bet. The Countess of Wessex suffered a bout of extraordinarily bad luck today when just one of her horses was placed at Ascot. Sophie, accompanied by husband Prince Edward, put down two pounds on a fourfold accumulator, but failed to win a penny. One of her horses, Cracksman, suffered the shock defeat to Poet's Word in the Prince of Wales stakes, while another came second to last out of 28 horses. Ladbrokes spokesperson Nicol Jetty told Mail Online, It wasn't a great day for punters at Royal Ascot today and judging by her betting slip it wasn't a great day for Sophie Wessex either. It is not known whether her mother-in-law the Queen, who was also in attendance, fared better on a bumper year at Royal Ascot with some pounds 7 million up for grabs. Fashion watchers noted that Sophie had made history as the first royal to wear a jumpsuit at Ascot, after they were introduced to the royal enclosure for the first time in 2017. The mother of two stunned in a 1,992 pounds powder blue number by Amelia Wickstead, teamed with an aquamarine hat, Her Majesty, 92, was picture perfect in a pale blue outfit teamed with a matching hat adorned with pretty pink flowers. The monarch rode in the traditional carriage procession to the parade ground with her cousin Princess Alexandra, who was elegant in cream. The queen arrived at the course in her traditional carriage procession and among her guests in the royal box are the Prince of Wales and Duchess of Cornwall. Camilla, who looked smart in a green coat dress, rode in a carriage with her husband joined by his nephew Peter Phillips and his wife Autumn and she proved she's not afraid to recycle her old outfits, sporting the same coat she wore to a garden party at Buckingham Palace just a month ago. Sophie, Countess of Wessex, also joined the royal party this afternoon, following the Queen's lead in a blue with a matching hat. However, she opted for an edgier style and took advantage of the rule that now allows jumpsuits in the royal enclosure, opting for a design by Amelia Wickstead. Charles later presented the winning prizes in the aptly named Prince of Wales' stakes. The Duke of Cambridge stakes takes place this afternoon, but the Earl of Wessex rather that Prince William will be presenting the trophy. And his wife Kate, who has attended in previous years, is likely to remain at home with her newborn, Prince Louis. Also absent from this year's Royal Ascot is Zara Tyndall who is recuperating after giving birth to her second child, a baby girl, on Monday. Royal Ascot racegoers who took a punt on blue as the color of the Queen's hat were set to cash in this afternoon. Bookies traditionally take bets on the color of the head of state's hat, and they hope to have better luck than Tuesday when the favorite yellow was heavily backed. William Hill spokesman Rupert Adams said they had shortened the odds on blue from 7 to 2 to 2 to 1 favorite earlier today, adding, We will be feeling blue if another hat horror occurs today. Nicol Jetty of Ladbroke said, Punters kicked off day two in high spirits after correctly predicting that the Queen would wear a blue hat. Tomorrow is Ladies' Day, and the early money suggests that Her Majesty will opt for green rather than pink. The Queen is also expected to attend tomorrow for the busiest race day with the feature Gold Cup race set to be one of the most prestigious events of the whole festival. The Queen has had 22 winners over 60 years and in 2013. She became the first reigning monarch to win the Gold Cup with one of her horses when her filly, Estimate, stormed to victory. She has described her visits to Ascot with her family as among her most cherished memories and has been going to the festival since she was 19 years old.